we have the ability to access the town, whatever, and we've got some friendlies, Somali friendlies with us. We'll just wait it out. So we pull in, everybody's good with it. The three of us feel good about it. You know, it's basically the three of us and, and eight or 10 Somalis. So to our knowledge, there's 18 to 20 some of them and they got bell feds and a bunch of other stuff. We didn't have shit. We had rifles and pistols uh, and a handful of Somalis with AKs. We, we did have two machine guns, um, but not a ton of ammunition for either one of those that the Somalis brought with them. And so we set up our little hasty patrol base and we're waiting. And in the early day, early part of the day, it's hot and we're dying. And Bashir's like, we need to go get these guys. And we're like, nah, man, we can't do it. And again, he's the only one that speaks English. He's like, no, we need to go do it. And he keeps pressing. And like, we can't figure out why. And he keeps pressing, keeps pressing. Still can't, like Bashir, just calm down, man. And what it was is he didn't understand. He's like, he can see the boat too. We didn't say anything about it. He can hear the plane. And he's like, at one point, he's like, why don't you just drop a bomb on them? And we're like, one, we don't know exactly where they are. We have no way of geolocating them. Two, the battery died on their phone. They're not talking anymore. So we don't know if they moved. We don't know what's going on. We just know they're in those hills somewhere. Or like, three, like, we haven't worked a whole lot together. So like, this is a dangerous thing. Like, we just need to wait these guys out. Well, he loses patience. So it's probably 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And he comes over to the three of us. So the Somalis are kind of spread around, just doing their thing, chewing cot. And the three of us are like, just trying to figure out like what's next. Cause we can't just shoot naval gunfire. Like we basically have to get an engagement to do anything. And we're in a country we're not supposed to be in. We got no air assets, no cast, no nothing. So Bashir walks over and he goes, I'm taking my guys and I'm going over the hill to kill them. And I go, what? And he goes, you can come with me if you want unless you're scared. He punked us. 